you, good ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Westboro High's Fisher Gymnasium for tonight's matchup between uh, Grand Gunsville High School and your Westboro High School Rangers. Participating some athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a school official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and be subject for the violator to be ejected. At this time, let's make the tonight's exciting lineups. First, for the visiting Grand Dunstable Crusaders. <laughs> Secret number three, Anna Stop. <laughs> Junior number three, Anna Sensory. <laughs> Secret number 20, Emerson McAdams. <laughs> Secret number 22, Mara Wu. <laughs> and sophomore number 24, Katie Ryder. <laughs> and then we'll come here for the man of the video. This is uh, Justin Zimbush, Sarah Woods. And now the second lineup for your Westboro Rangers. <laughs> Sophomore number four, Lucy Petrunka. <laughs> Senior number 10, Casey. <laughs> Senior number 12, Ian Nolan. <laughs> Junior number 13, Rachel Carpenter. <laughs> and Senior number 14, Annabelle Semeter. <laughs> the head of the Rangers is Eric Stevenson, assisted by Kayla Tanucci and Brian McCullough. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we now ask you to please rise and move your hats for the playing of our national anthem. <laughs> Welcome to the streams tonight. We're uh, filming the home opener for the Westboro Rangers girls varsity basketball. I'm uh, Brady Anderson. And I'm Connor Nagy. Thanks for uh, tuning in tonight. <laughs> Like Westbrook starting in the press early in the game. Yeah, man press. Full court hundred. Twenty-four in the lane. 
makes a layup, that's Katie Ryder, um, sophomore guard. Another miss from Westbrook. Oh, good press, but Groton maintains it. There's a shot three. right there, just off. And it's gonna be over the back on number 22, Westboro Ball. For second foul, number 22, Mary Mamoulou, that's her first, team's first of the quarter. All right, Lisa Petralia bringing the ball down. In the lane, oh, it looks like a block from Groton. Westboro gets the ball back though. Gets the ball, a couple of misses, and Groton gets possession back. Here comes Katie Ryder up the court. Good shot right there. Three, uh -huh. oh, and a wedgie. Let's get someone tall. That works. Jump ball. Ref did not have the hops to get one, had to use another ball. <laughs> um, and it's Westward ball again. Oh, but a rebound. Another missed layup from Westboro. Got to finish these early ones, but I know this team's got it. Inbound. Oh, a turnover. It's understanding right there. Number three. Right. Hannah Stark. Oh, but good defense there. Kate Sands Westbrook is bringing it back down the court. Pass Petralia. Oh, oh turn it. over there. Oh, who's that going to be off? It's going to yeah. stay Westboro ball. Make a stack off the break. Unfortunate. Seem, seem to be a little bit of uh, in out forward back there. I haven't seen that in a while. In the lane. Outside, three Good pointer. Look. Bang. <laughs> Miss Q. But a rebound for Groton. Another one, oh, same money. spot. Yeah, I'll give her that. For three. That is Emerson McAdam. Great job right there. Groton Dutz will take an early 5 0 lead. Recent Hamilton College commit. Oh, the foul there on number. Both teams at one foul now. Grotten up 5 0 with five minutes left in the first. Katie Ryder, back to... Oh, there's a log two. Off the mark. Get a rebound Rotten gets a rebound, though. No, oh, good move. Oh. Uh, went awesome. for a little up and under. It's going to stay going to fall, though. <laughs> Here's number 10, Allegra Gutterman. Another three. Great shot. I just thought. Oh, I like the three ball. Haven't been connected too much so far, but. All right, here comes Lucy Petralia up the court. Oh, oh good, good dish inside. Sands in the middle, gets fouled. Amazing. Go to the charity stripe. That's the first one. Let's get the second now. 
Okay. Makes a second. Great. Put Westbro on the board. Still rocking the press, press. Here. Oh, there we go. That's a tip. I'm going to take away the press here now. Got a dribbling down. Hands it off, working around the perimeter. Gets inside, and that's wide open. And easy. that's an easy layup from I like Greg Gunner. Great shot. No There's Sands mistake. in the lane. Oh, yeah, just hit these free throws. Another trip to the free throw Rangers line. will be in this game. Yeah, that last last time I learned was Allegra Guterman from a, a junior forward. <laughs> Shot. Makes the first. But net. Score is now two to seven with four eleven left in the first quarter. Groton in the lead. There's another make. Tate Sands first for you of Westboro's points. Katie Ryder up the court. They're running. And a play called Florida. <laughs> Gets inside. Gutterman with the ball. Dribbling right. Finds. Oh, wait. Oh, oh and a steal by Westbro. Down the lane to Sevener. Oh, just a good defense by Groton Dunstable there. And oh, fakes a three. Gets inside. Very physical game right Groton Dunstable gets, gets a hand on it for the jump ball. Oh, looks like subs are coming in. I was so, is Emily Gray. There we go. Kate Sams comes off. Emily Gray goes on for the Rangers. Looking around the perimeter, gets it inside. Oh, oh and a pass off. back. Oh. Unfortunately, so caught, caught a little bit of hand there on that block. Not but. sure she had any ball. Uh oh. On the Rangers number five, Emily Gray. That's her first team second. Looks like somebody's shaking up there. If the Rangers number ten kicks in, never good to see a good player going down. And a start at the line, shooting two. I have to see Seminar going down early there, but she was able to walk it off, or I mean, at least walk off the court. Hopefully, we can see her back in action. And Gotten Dunstable misses the second, but gets the re their own rebound. Guterman in a layup. Gotten Dunstable. There's a timeout by Westboro as Gotten Dunstable takes an early. 3 to 10 lead over the Rangers. The 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Interesting first quarter here, Connor. Not a lot of not a lot of makes. It seems like not all the shots are falling, but they're getting some good open looks. Yeah, definitely the momentum's definitely with Grant as well early in the game. Yeah, smart smart time out here by the by the Westboro coach to break up that momentum, see if they can get something else, something brewing. This Ranger team has a lot of great athletes on it. Kate Sands, Ranger Miller, and Emily Gray play for the varsity soccer team. Um, Annabelle Summoner has just finished up her volleyball season where they were state champs for the second year in a row. Um, and those games are always incredible to watch. A great volleyball program here at Western High. The coach Roger Anderson and great soccer program as well. Yeah. Also speaking of Annabelle Seminder, uh, she committed to play basketball at Hamilton College. Uh, really strong D3 program. So uh, obviously, congratulations to her there. Uh, 
looks like she's walking over there on the bench. It's a good sign. Good sign. Looking around the perimeter. Kate in the lane. Take. Good, good me. Kate has the first, all of Westboro's five points right now. Putting up a stellar performance here tonight. Yeah, definitely a really stellar performance by Kate Sands tonight. <laughs> oh, and a steal by Rachel Carpenter. Let's see if she can In the lane. Nice. Makes a layup. Many call her a three-point specialist, but she can really do everything on the court. And Westbrook's quickly cut Groton Dussel's lead down to three. And Annabelle Seminary is on the sideline now, checking in. So that's a, that's a Allegra, Allegra Gunnerman makes another layup, but Annabelle Seminary is there on the sideline, ready to check back in already. Oh, and a great dish wow. to Sands for her seventh point of the night, taking this game by storm. It is now a 12 to nine lead by Ron Dunstable. And a steal by Westbro. Richard Carpenter great with time. another fast break finish. Rangers are starting to come alive here. The girls really want to win here tonight. They're going to keep up uh, with the home win streak that the boys have started this year, having won their first three home games. Home games right here in this gym. A really turnaround season for them. Yeah, there was some unfortunate foul there by Kate Sam. Well, yeah, 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 uh, nothing the Rangers can't handle though. Kate Sam's gonna need to come out here. That might be her. Is that her second of the, believe that's her second of the quarter? Game. Two early fouls. You don't want to see that. See that she's she's kind of kind of in their star player so far, but this team's team's pretty deep. Got some good players that can fill in. Oh. Dish in to Seminary, just off there. Groton Nussel gets a rebound. Who's Michalia pressuring? Great D, great D right there. Keeping him at half. Or Carpenter on. Oh, missed in the lane, good defense. Westboro ball. Oh, in a steal by Gro Dunstable. Right Gonna slow it down. Didn't have numbers there. Emerson, back to Anna. Anna Travis. Really hate to say it. I saw it from here. I don't think that recognizes it. Friday, dribbling down for Dunstable. Pass around the lane. They're really getting in the blocks. And that's, that's just a great, it's a great offense that Brown Dunstable's been running. Getting the ball, getting the ball in the low post and passing it back to the elbow to go in for a floater or a layup there. It's really been working to help Brown Dunstable out early. Summiter, three-point line, looking, up, Great looking to get in the lane. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Gets the end one. That. What a play from an injured Summiter. Just a great take right there. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a D3, that's a D3 play. That's a college committed move. <laughs> look at those shoes as well. And, and with a free throw sure, here, amazing. the Rangers look to tie it up at 14 apiece with just under 10 seconds in the first quarter. There we go. Tie. Tie Just game. Just like that. Ten seconds, Katie. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Eight. We're going to go up to Rush. You get the last shot off. Five, it is a three. Four, three. Kind of chuck that one two, up. Two, uh, no shot. No time for a shot. But that was a good good finishing of that quarter for the uh, for the Rangers here. Tied up at 14 uh, at the end of the first. Yeah. Definitely got the momentum on their side after being down 10-3. So, yeah, tough start look to see quarter, what they can do in the second. That's, that's that Ranger spirit right there. They definitely bounce back. Yeah. 
Looks like the Rangers are starting to build up some fans as well. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. That was the most exciting quarter. Oh, yeah. Out of the break, Rangers got a lineup of Hannah Willer, Annabel Semeter, Ava Nolan, Rachel Carpenter, and Tamisha Rao. Come on, girl. My bad. It's gonna be off Westboro for our ball. Starting to catch up on that on that up. short corner and look for the cutter. Looks like Junior Anna Willer is checking the game. And for Rangers, number five, and here and comes. Correct. <laughs> Looks like Emily Gray is just checking the game for Annabelle Semeter. Maybe she's still feeling some pain from that earlier injury. We hope not. Maybe Nola driving. Oh, yeah. Gets fouled on the layup. We'll go to the go to the free throw line. It's been the story of Westbrook's game so far. Get in the lane, been been hacked a bit, but getting to the line a lot. Haven't seen much outside shooting from them. So Let's lock these down and take the lead right here. Great shot. Well, David Nolan's first points of the night. Yep. Oh, just and off. Second one is just off. Really bounce. Need to see it. Rob gets the rebound. Okay. Pushing the pace. Short corner. Elbow. Three. Oh, money. Just off. Westbro gets a rebound. It's a strong board there. Anna Willer up the court. See if she can do something with the ball. Oh, great pass to Emily. Pass Emily Gray. Back out. Rachel Carmen is trying to do some work. Strong, brought in basketball defense, though. Oh, it's a okay. Point. You just gotta bounce the ball before you start moving. What a travel is. And Grotman has the ball now. Going down. Driving in the lane. Good Westward defense, steals the ball. Haven Nolan All down the, the floor. Like a truck. It oh, gets fouled. Hope she's all right, no concussion there. <laughs> going, to the, going to the line again. She was uh, one for one last time. So for two for two. Westboro up 15 14 in the second quarter. Nolan hits the first. Oh, the net. Second point of the night gives, gives the uh, Rangers a two point lead. One. And oh, makes a second. Um, looks like Lucy Petrelli has checked in the game for Rachel Carpenter there. All right. See how that goes. Got it. Ooh. Out, out to start. Three pointer. To Polly. Ooh, Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Number 11 gets called for a bush. Is that Olivia Smith right there with the ball? Well, number 11, Olivia Smith, that's her second. Team's third. Uh, and Hannah Weller down the court. Okay, Finds over Nolan. Finds Tanisha. Oh, big shot. Ah, uh, just okay. off. They're fighting for this rebound. Jump ball. Oh, yeah, they get some dogs on this team. I don't know about you, guys. It'll dogs. go Groton Dunstable's way. Come on, Gigi, let's go. 
Short corner, driving. Just now. Let's get the rebound. Let's go. Oh, hit by Grant Nutsko, but oh yeah, Hannah Willer maintains possession. Oh, is able to hit the hit the layup, but has the ball. Great time and call there by the by West the coach, coach. Westboro, Aaron. Instead of him. Westboro will maintain possession and inbounds the short corner. Looks like Kate Sands is going to be checking in as well. It's a very quiet Even Nolan, Hannah oh, Willow, and Lisa Petrelli in. Here we go! Under the set. Even Nolan. Nolan. Three point line. Taking it all the way. Kicks it out. Dish to Emily. Inside. Even oh. Nolan. Just off. And Grant Dustwell has the ball. Uh oh. Going to foul. Yeah. Triple threat position. Good right defense. Rangers maintain a 17-14 lead with 4.50 left in the quarter. Let's go, GD, let's go! Stead shot, that's it. Makes, makes the elbow jumper. Cut the lead to one. Great for three. Oh, oh just, just off. off. Rangers, great intensity right here. Rider up the court. Back to Smith. In the corner. Long two. Just off. Trailly on the lane. Oh, unable to convert. <laughs> Maintain, Rangers maintain possession. Lisa Pichelli inbounding. In comes uh, Rachel Carpenter for Hannah Willer. And Annabelle Seminary will look to check in as well. Um, taking out Emily Gray here. So it looks like starting five is back in the game with, with four minutes left in the half. Right there. Put it up. Rebound. Great shot. Oh, just, oh, off. just off. Gets a rebound. Time. One more time. Again. Get the ball again. Gets another rebound, and it'll be. Good job. Good job. Foul against Push. Push on Westboro, I guess. That might be on Date. Yeah. That will be a third Sims. if it is on there. She has the second foul on. Not up yet. <laughs> Foot out of bounds by um, Rotten Bus will get Westbury ball back. What? 
All right, Westbrook in the lane. There's Nolan. Off the mark. Brought down smoke. Pushing down the court. In the corner. Short corner jumper off the mark again. Westbrook has the ball. In the three pointers off by Carpenter. Ron Nutsmo has the ball. Looking around the perimeter inside now. Good defense by Westbro, and that's a three. Bang! Oh, Yet another missed. This three from Broughton Dunstable. If they hit those, they'd be in control of this game. Carpenter. Summers a three by Andrew Summiter. Another Westboro miss. Westboro maintains a 17 to 6 lead with 2 minutes and 37 seconds left in the half. Between the legs, getting shifty. Big Seminer in the lane. All the way. Amazing. Play. There we go. Finally, Seminer gets her first points of the night. Westbro takes the lead by three. From the corner. Off the mark. Seminer up the court. Ray and Carpenter on both sides of her. In the lane. Gets her own rebound. Pretty good for Nick. It gets a layup. And the Rangers push their lead to five points with two minutes left in the half. Great game we've got here from these two strong teams. Less, uh, less scoring in the second quarter than there was in the first. It's only been two points for Groton Dunstable and seven for, for Westboro when there was a tie 14-14 at the end of the first quarter. So we'll see what, what happens here in the final two minutes of the half. Gotten us, we'll take the ball down the court. Watch two, watch two. Right here, yeah. Rider up the court. <laughs> Three pointer. Bang! Yeah. Banks it. Oh, and a start. Cuts the lead to two. Wow, this game just got so much better. Yeah, that's the one. More exciting. Oh, that's a. Oh, all the travel there. Oh, that's gotta be a defensive yeah. walk. Defensive <laughs> walk, I've never heard that term before. Offensive walk. Oh, oh. Sorry to the viewers at home. I didn't, I didn't hear correctly. All right. Steal by Westbro. Somebody going down the court. In the lane. Oh, Great jumper. Big. Just off. Uh, big was not Westbro enough. gets a rebound. What a pass. Back in the lane. Somebody. Foul on Groton Nussable. We'll get another two at the free throw line. Looks like they stepped up the intensity here late in the second half. Seven, it makes the first. Makes a second Nothing to bring this back. What a shot. To bring the Rangers a four point lead with a minute left in the first half. All right, Polly up the middle. Big foul. <laughs> Pass outside. Three pointer. Do it. Ah, just not. Oh. All right, here comes Gray back to the area. 
Pass down the court to Garpenter. D3 commit. Give her that. Oh, just off the mark. Whoa. It'll be a jump ball. Wow. The pressure by Petrelia and Westboro will maintain possession. Petrelia was looking for a bounce back season after a couple of uh, shoulder dislocations last year. So it was a rough time for injuries, but she's doing well this season. And Carpenter wow. hits a three! What a, what a shot! shot. Wow. Nothing but Gives the Rangers a seven point lead with 30 seconds remaining. I'm not sure if Rotten Dust will hold on to it or go for a quick shot here. Is this the dagger? And a steal! Oh, a steal by the Rangers! See so him to Carpenter! Can't blow it! Back Lay up. And this Rangers team is coming alive! Ryder. Bench is counting down. Three, two, two three. Oh. Off the mark. Oh, that will not count. And wow, what a finish by these two teams. What a first great. Half. What, a, what a second quarter, honestly, by the Rangers. Final two minutes was just, just a great, great show of basketball. It's the Rangers go into the half with a 28 to 19 lead. Yeah, wow, that shot by uh, Rachel Carpenter, that was. That was something to see. Rangers will head to the hall to talk it out. Rotten Dunst will head the gym. And just a great first half from these teams. Hopefully you get some rest from these players. Definitely a really <laughs> physical match early on in the game. We'll be back to you after the half. All right, welcome back to the second half. Um, got Rangers versus Rotten Dunstable. Uh, Westbrook currently has a 28-19 lead here. And there's a three by Groton Nuts bullet. Curly and off. Rangers push the court. Say out of bounds on the Rangers, so it'll be Groton Nuts ball. All right, let's go Westbrook. Here we go. On three. Ryder. Oh. Off the mark. Nolan with the rebound. Trailer bringing it up. Crazy move. Call Just foul. Was a call for a shot on there. You know, travels are just so annoying. Like, they're just always calling them. And like, you always think you're not traveling. But the refs always oh, call the jealous. Maybe it is a travel. A little too much muscle right there. Oh, okay, all the way. Gets the lane again. Oh, at least he tried to pick that up again, but. Unfortunately. Yeah, Sam is on her third, fourth trip to the free throw line this game. She's good at doing it. She's good at getting them, getting the line. Joel Embiid. Makes the first. And the second one is off. Rod gets a rebound. Here comes Ryder up the court. Oh, great look. Might be a travel. And a three pointer. Off that. Just off. Another, another, another air ball three pointer from Rod Nelson. If he start going in. Be a dangerous second half. Of that. We might have a problem with these guys on there. <laughs> He's right behind me. Come on! Get up! Pulls up. Off the mark. Rotten us where we go. Banana! Banana! Oh, here we go. Long Short hit. corner. Creep. Oh, uh, long two. Stark. Off the mark. Connor, is there a is there a Groton and a Groton Dunstable? Is Groton a town and Groton Dunstable a, a regional school? I mentioned it. I have a friend at Fairfield University that is that went to GD. I didn't ask. All right, he's actually from Groton, so there must be two. Friends. So there's probably a Groton and a Dun oh, it's, <laughs> look at that. Rage with another travel there. And number two, number two, Mackenzie Polly. 
checks in for number 24, Katie Ryder, for the Rotten Dunstable. Do you know what their uh, mascot is? Rotten Dunstable. Might be a warrior. Don't quote me. So is there, do you think there's a Dunstable town and a Groton town? Oh, so well, I, I know there's a Dunstable. Really? Oh, okay, so I bet that's it. And it's going to be out of bounds of the Rangers. Crusaders, okay, so Groton Dunstable Crusaders. Let's go girls, come on! Yeah, so it is a, so it is a regional high school. A three from the Crusaders. That was a lead to seven. Let's see if the, war, the, the Crusaders can get right back into this game. Oh, all the way. That's a tough take right there. Off the mark. Sam gets the rebound. Puts That's it up. Puts it up boards. again. That's three oh my God. Let's get a fourth here. There we go. Makes a layup. Wow. That's not fair. That's not she, fair. She might have a double double at this point. Just a great game from Sam's. Rod Muscle working the perimeter inside. That's a foul. Yeah. Called for a foul on Seven, but that's some great sportsmanship. Helps really her is. out. Um, that was Hannah side. Stark that got fouled. Right what a class act. Yeah. Mm, 7 p.m. Looks like she's doing council time. Oh. Inside. That's a good play, but it, that's a board. Give it to uh, uh, a yeah, block from right. Seven. No way they missed that. Call for a travel. I thought that was going to be a foul. Um, number 20, McAdam, was, looking for, a, was, was looking for a foul on that layup on the other court, on the other end call. of the court, but doesn't get it from the refs. Polly dribbling down. And ball. <laughs> In the lane. That's a kick ball right there, sir. Ooh, what are they calling that? Yeah, that's they, a great call. We're calling it a kick. All right, Rangers Here down the court. Over there, making, he's gonna do some work on the perimeter. Seminar for three, just off the mark. Rebound, Groton Dunstable. Off the travel. It's a, it's a good pressure by Petralia to make that turnover. There's got to be ten travels in this quarter. It's crazy. Got to be. Rangers maintain a 31 to 22. 31 to 22 lead. Bang. There we go, 33 to 22. Seminary makes another one. Gives the Rangers an 11 point lead with four minutes left in the quarter. Looks like Seminary's back on track after that early injury back earlier in the game. There we go, Petrilla. And she's coming off the court. Hits Carpenter. She does Oh, see off the back of someone's head. Groton, what a, what a steal. I've never seen a back of the head steal before, but Groton does it. Takes the ball. In the perimeter. Long two. Just off. But Groton does the ball all over that rebound. In another another wedge. That's the second we've seen this game from Groton Dunstable. It's a rare occurrence. But oh. That was it. And here is Jess Braden checking into the game for the first time. Sophomore um, guard, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, uh, hard, yeah. The, let's see how she does. Big lights are on now. Pass right there. What? Ground us will miss it, but gets her own rebound. Oh, sorry, that was kind of out of the camera. That's my apologies, viewers. Another one off the mark. Rangers Jess rebound, Brayden. Jeff Braden reports her first stat right of the there. night. Great pass. Passes so to it. Carpenter. Oh. Off the mark. But Anna Summer is a good rebound. Oh. Just Braden. Braden. Short corner. Just off. Get, get your board. 
Looks for a rebound, yeah. but it's out of bounds on Ron Dunstable. Great start so they may, great start. Rangers maintain possession. Uh, seven or, oh, she gets, she gets bumped. Crusaders foul number 10, Allegra Gunnaman, and that's her first team second. And who is that? Sam's not able to convert the layup. Rotten nuts the ball. Gets the board. Driving down the court. Here comes Polly. Three's looking for the ball. Doesn't get it. 15 with the ball now. And it's a ball. Out to the corner. Under the basket. Out to three. Polly. Elbow from the free throw line, unable to con convert that, and Sammeter comes down, oh, Sam pushing the pace. Looking like a freight train. <laughs> Called for a travel. Oh, wow. Mm, I don't know about that one. Maybe, maybe the ref saw something on that Euro step that we didn't see there, but they've been they've been doing a pretty good job tonight. Looks like and a great some, move to me. Some quality quality refs we got here. Wish we had them for that ball. Off the mark there. Ron Nutsville gets her rebound. A lot of offensive rebounds in that. For three. The three um, just off. Gets a foul on that one. That's number two. Mackenzie Pauly going to the free throw line. Looking to, looking to get her team back in the mix. Makes the first. Oh, great try right there. Great show. And the Rangers now have a 10 point lead with a minute 43 left in the quarter. Makes a second. Oh, nothing but that. Nothing but that. That's great to have in a play. If you can knock down your free throws, that's super important for basketball. I cannot resonate with that. If I know. Oh, and a steal by Groton Festival. Got the momentum now. In the lane, just off, but they get their own offensive rebound. Number three, off. Westbrook gets a rebound, but a steal. Turnover after turnover. My God, what's Very happening? Very hectic right now. Out soon. Yeah, a nice roll around the free throw three. A three them switch. from Pauly. Wow. If she hits it, what a shot. she has four, five straight points for this Crusaders team to cut the Rangers into six points. Just great, right Emily Gray. Let's see what we can do here. Emily Gray, unable to answer. Just Brady gets a rebound though. Just Brady has like four rebounds right now. What a great start. He's putting up a good stat line tonight. Carpenter stuck in the corner. Pass to Brady. Oh, Jerry. Brady go back to the corner. Uh, Steal by Groton. Oh, so here comes Stark. Oh, it's Jump stop. On the three point line. Stark. Out to Smith. Back in the lane. They've been doing that all night. Rangers started to catch up on it, but not there. Could have had an opportunity to just have the to lead even more, but unable to do so. So Rangers have the ball. Looking to answer for this little run that the Crusaders been going on. Oh, just a just a misread. Wasn't she wasn't sure if Carbonero was going to the. To the block or out to the three point line, and guess wrong. Groton Dunstable takes the ball back outside the three point line, here. into the corner, into the short corner. Free throw, oh, no. sorry, block in the lane, gets a layup. Hey, eight, eight, eight seconds, eight, 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 six, five, four, the last shot here. Seminar in the lane, like a puts it up. Oh, it's a foul. And what a what an end to that third quarter by the Crusaders. Just a crazy quarter right there. Cut to a four-point lead. The score is what was score is 33 to 22, 11 point lead. And now with seven straight points from the Crusaders, the Rangers only lead by four going into this fourth period. Let's see if the Rangers can answer come this fourth quarter.
This uh, Groton Nutsville team only has three seniors. Am I right? Yeah, three <coughs> seniors on the whole roster, so they definitely got a bright future ahead of them. Rangers team is four. Got three of their starters, so we'll see what they can do in the future. Their, their captains are uh, Kate Sams, Ava Nolan, and Annabelle Senator. They're three senior starters. Rock Dunstable and uh, does not show you the count. Sorry, I got that right here. Out right to Smith. Stead Trump. Ah, bad. Ranger steal. Forced the pass there when they were, they were hands in the lanes. Senator here. Let's see him trying to do something. Petralia. Sam, right, Sam's at the elbow. Oh, all the in way. the lane, gets fouled. Foul. Did another trip to the uh, free throw line for her. It's the wrong person put at the free throw line for this GED offense. Defense. Of course, GED defense is brought in Dunsmore defense. No, no profanity on this last year. Makes the first. Good shot right there. The range is a five point. Four points. Get that rebound. Come on, Lego. Oh, no. And who's that checking in? Number 20 is McAdam for the Crusaders. Same oh. makes it. Nothing but she's just, net. She's just automatic in the line tonight. And she, I, I would say she definitely has a double double going there with all those rebounds. Six points. She's putting up a point lead right here. Seven minutes, about seven minutes left in the game. And oh, God, that was jelly. Rangers. It's handling the ball, driven them down. Cheesecake Sam, so does Fancy. Turnover there. Mercedes. Turnover after Mercedes turnover, guys. Let's pick it up. Start. Oh, Start. Oh, Start. Yeah. There's number 10, Guterman, back to the free throw line. She did be a, a strong force on this, on this rotten dunceable team as a junior, so so she should be should be leading this team next year as a senior. Pure shot right there. Makes it first to cut the lead to five. Get that rebound, GD. Come on now. Cut to a four point lead. Makes a second. Just like that. This game There's a is a thrill. From the, I didn't hear. Rangers, maybe? It's a four point game. 6.44 left in the <laughs> game. Let's see if the Crusaders can make some noise and make, make this interesting. Let's see, we got some, got some state championship posters up there. Oh, what's that? Boys track and field. Oh, yeah, I was on that team. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to, had to give myself some props. Oh, I'm thinking those sounds good. All right, all right. Out of the timeout. Let's see, Rangers are sending Hannah Willard, Ava Nolan, Lucy Cherley, Annabelle Summiter, and Kate Sams. And the uh, <laughs> Crusaders sending uh, Gruderman, Stenstrom, Stark. Who's that? I can't uh, read all the names as fast. McAdams. Lucy Petralia. 
out to Sembeter. Uh, and it's a turnover for the Rangers. He's done some of the, gotten that some of the ball. Stedstrom with the ball. Out to McAdam. Back to Stedstrom. Hits Stark. Stark taking it. And the elbow. Steal. Steal. By Sands. Steal by K. Sands. Going down the lane. All the way. In the lane. Oh, oh. just off. Seminator with the ball. Up to Nolan. Back to Seminator. And it'll be Stays Ranger it'll ball. Stay Ranger ball. Wow. Willard, Sam, Sam with the ball. Working inside. Fowler. In the lane. Great. Snow is good. <laughs> Rangers take a six point lead. Snow is indeed glistening. <laughs> Bedroom with the ball. If any of you guys didn't get that reference, it's a Christmas song. Winter song. And that's a trap. All her travel I've gotten done so far. If I'm making a few too many mistakes, you need a, can't they afford need to travels in. right now. Exactly. They need can't to lock in if they want to want to make some noise in this, this final stretch of the game. All right, tough D now. Let's Taking go. away the press now. Win it back. Hannah Willard coming up with the ball. See Sams. Sams with the ball now. Back to Sembiter. Sembiter with the baseline. Reverse. Yeah, reverse. Oh, and it no. falls. Summoner having the a snow stellar second is half. still glistening. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. And there's the Groton Dunstable. Three pointer. Three. Oh, oh. Off again. Rangers maintain an eight point lead with a strong start to this final quarter. Really strong start. That's good hands right there by Stark. Turnover. Oh. By Doug a few more inches than she would have had that. Turnover by Westbrook, followed by a turnover by Groton Dunstable. Gives the Rangers back the ball. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Five of minutes? Of this year basketball game. All genius thinking. Five minutes and a dream. Can they pull it off? A dream. Carpenter with the ball. Working on. Come on. Oh, we have a Nolan. Big take. Looks like a block for Groton Dunstable. Go down the lane. All right, number 15 in the corner. Ow! Oh, just off. You did it. That would have been a huge play for the Crusaders. They score here. It's going to be real tough for GD to come back. Oh, it it's a foul. foul. Annabelle, Annabelle Seminer go to the line. Definitely don't want to send Annabelle Seminer to the line. Crusaders run on number three, Hannah Stark. That's her third. Team I'm thinking you you got to put a game plan for Seminar coming into tomorrow. Coming into any matchup, knowing that she's a D3 player. Oh, Seminar knocked down. Seminar knocked down. Seminar knocked down. Off, first one. As for the pursuit, this is number 24, Katie Wagner. Let's see if she can bounce back. Sinks a second oh, one. Oh, that's fun, yeah. That, that, that's the shot we need right there. 40 to 31. Rangers leading by Rangers, nine here. The Rangers have made five straight in this fourth quarter. Not made five straight, but scored five straight. So to put this Great lead look. a little bit Great the movement. Grass. Let's hit that now. And that's a three. Let's do it. That's and a start. It. That's a start. Number 20, McAdam. McAdam makes a three to cut the lead to six with just over four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Hannah Willer. Willer. Out to Nolan. Finds all in the corner. Baseline. Driving. Carpenter. Carpenter. And a seven. For three. For three. Oh. Unable to answer. Big the rebound. will get to rebound. Yeah. And they foul them. Foul. Definitely oh. don't want to foul here. On Ava Nolan. Not what you want to see there. Yeah, for the Rangers, As four, a Rangers. Super As a Groton Dunstable fan, exactly what you want to see there. Yeah. At, at a Rangers fan, especially. Adam. Come on, come to start in the lane. <laughs> Easy, buddy. Un <laughs> Unable to get very. Let's get it out now. Oh, got this one. Maintains possession. To start. Steps in Great for the shot. three. Bang. Takes it. It's a four-point four game. Wow, 3.30 left to the game. Hannah Stark. 
in a three. Carpenter, and Carpenter was gets fouled. She landed. Definitely Nick. not the player you want to foul. There was Creeps. no oh, wow. calls on the It was on, on the, the ground. Wow. Very surprising there. I thought that would be on the shot because she caught it and immediately shot it, but it looks like the Rangers have the ball around the three point line. Slams to Semeter in the lane. Oh, it's a tough take. Can't stop that. Can't just, stop that. It's just bread and butter for her. <laughs> pure. Absolutely pure. Gives the Rangers a six point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my right. God. Oh, get it out. Go, Jamie. Bound to a block from Semeter. Um, inbound. Oh, oh my God. God. Another block. That's two in a row. Groton Nussel takes the ball in a timeout. Groton Nussel. And wow, what a. Annabelle Seminer. What? What a, what a start. What a what a series of events from Seminer. Makes an easy layup and then gets two blocks in the next possession. And this, and this is why Hamilton College wanted her. Wanted her skills. Gonna make make some noise for their program. Lead them to a D3 championship. I, I believe they're in the NEPSAC as well. So, is, is there a NES, NEPSAC championship? NEPSAC or NESCAC? NESCAC. <laughs> Don't know what the NEPSAC is, but maybe Connor's oh, playing in that. I believe the NEPSAC is the, uh, that's the, of course, the academy. Oh. They sound alike. It's okay though. It's okay. And look at this score. We've got just under three minutes left. Rangers lead by six. And that's that's no big lead. I mean, three that's two possessions. A couple yeah. of threes. And Groton Nussel has tied this game up. No team's really in foul trouble, which is just surprising right now, but definitely a thing to watch. Strong defense from the Rangers, but 24. Do oh, just off the mark. They really needed that there, but. He's still got fight in him. Oh, Animal Semeter. Can't stop her. Can't. Do the try. Can't do it. Looks like they did just there. Sam's. Sam's with the ball. Around the perimeter. The Finds Petralia. Petralia still with the looks ball. Like looks like they're taking their sweet time. Trying to run this clock out a little Sam's. bit. Sam's. Ten Semeter. seconds left in the shot clock. See if Semeter will pop something here. Hannah Willer. Willer. That's a travel. That's yeah. call for the travel. That's, that's just defense. some strong defense from this Crusaders team. If, if GD thinks about winning this game, they need something here. If they, they, really if they think about winning this game. They really need to make some noise. It's got a good shot here, guys. Couple moves there. Passes number 15. They need Three it. Three-pointer. Yeah. They takes it in oh from God. number 15. Anna Stenstream. Stenstream. Who about that? Makes a three to cut the Rangers Australia. to a one possession game. Shivering Timbers. Animal Seminary in oh. the lane. Oh. And wow. Oh. What, an That's That's what an answer. What an answer. What an answer. Puts the Rangers back up five. And almost a steal from Sam's overcommitted there. Oh, it's in the lane. Bad. Underneath. Fire long Smith. two. And Sam oh, with another that's, rebound. That's, that's Just a rebounding machine. Dennis Rodman type player. Australia oh, loses it. Yeah. And it'll give GD the ball back. Rangers have a five point lead with a minute 23 left like, on the clock. Hannah Willard just got subbed out. Looks like uh, Ava Nolan just got subbed back in. And all five noise. of the starters will be back here for the Rangers close this, this home opener out. Stead Chum with the ball. Out to McAllen. In the lane. Back to start. Oh, good defense. Not unable to Stetchum. make it. A oh, rebound and a block by Nolan. Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. takes it up. Driving. Out to Carpenter. Carpenter pulls it. Oh. The oh, it's not the dagger. Okay, Sam. Oh, Kate Sam. He's a monster <laughs> offensive rebound. Oh, what a play God. by her there. And that, that makes it. Wow. You know, you know there's, the, there's the debate. Point. There's the debate between Michael Jordan 
LeBron and now I think Kate Sam's in that debate. <laughs> Maybe. Up there with the NBA greats. Got some got some fans talking about fantasy football over here, but wow, what a great what a great couple minutes from this Rangers team. It was a three point game after the three from Stenstrom. And then a couple of quick buckets from Seminar and Kate Sams make it a three possession game. With 51.1 seconds left on the clock. GD is going to need some. They're, they're going to need, need a miracle. miracle here. They are. Hope maybe some uh, Tracy McGrady 13 points in 33 seconds. Or a, or a Reggie Miller nope. 8 points in 9 seconds, I think. Sure. Shoot it, ladies. Let's go. You got undoubtable. Emma has the ball. They got to rush you. They got no time to waste. They got to shoot they that. They three possessions. They got to shoot that. They don't. They, they got to shoot something. That, they got to find a good, eat quick two. That's not a start. Off the mark, and it'll be. It, that's a good call. It's call same. off off Sam's hands. There's still hope. Number 15, Centrum's inbounding the ball. Let's get something. Gets it to Gudeman. Gudeman inside oh. and a seal by the Rangers. That, that should this, seal it up right they there. They have all that sealed the game. Number two, Pauly needs a foul. The Rangers are not in the bonus yet, though, so they will not go to the line. So, gonna run, out, run a sideline out of bounds. Back to Sam! Oh my god! Sneaky! Sneaky! And she makes a layup! So sneaky! What? What a find there! Wow. Great dish in a great finish Top three by the Rangers. Time. Top three all time. Puts him ahead by a nine. This game is all but over. But Barring a miracle. Oh. Rangers. Rangers will, will touch at last. Chew, sorry. Bless you. 11.7 seconds left. They need. They really need a miracle here. Let's see what they can do. Inbound to three. Two. Stark or Polly? Which one? Uh, Stark. Stark. And oh, wow. Ava, Nolan, Ava Nolan steals the ball to finish. Oh, his we don't want to get an eight-second violation. Oh, wow! And what a performance Great from the Rangers, in. winning the game in 40, 48 to thirty-nine in their home opener. Definitely was a comeback starting there, but Great Rangers. performance. You know, Grand Dunstable. They just, they just need to sink their threes, but just a great all-around performance from these two teams. Great performance from the refs. MVP caliber performance from Shaq and Kobe, Kate Sands and Annabelle Seminek. And a great win for the Westboro Rangers here. This is uh, Brady Henderson and Connor Nagy signing off for uh, Westboro TV. Good night.